615, welcome back. Live shot there from Century Plaza Hotel and Spa. Yes, we have the jerseys on. Puck drops on the regular season tonight. Get a load of this front page of the province. 100 point season or dumpster fire for the Vancouver Canucks. Let's take a look at what we have in store for the 2015 2016 season. Hockey Night in Canada's Elliot Friedman joining us. Good morning, Elliot. Lots to talk about here. Let's start off with the youth movement with the Canucks. Jake Vertanen, one of the big names. What do you like about the youth movement and what the Canucks are embracing here? Boy, that's that's a good way to wake up at the start of the season. A hundred point year or dumpster fire. Boy, those are two tough choices. Um, I like the idea of the youth movement. I, I'm a big believer in a merit-based roster. The players who deserve to be there should be there. Uh, those young players show that they should be there. Why not start it out? I, I think sometimes it's good to be made to feel a little bit uncomfortable to know that things aren't secure. Why not? It forces everybody to be better. Jake Rutan is one of the standouts, Jared McCann, Ben Hutton as well, some of which didn't think they would be on the opening day roster, but they are. And we were just chatting during the break as well. Frankie Corrado, an asset that won't be a part of the team. What do you think about that, uh, Elliot? Well, in the thing, the only thing I think that Canucks made the mistake of there was not doing a better job of just protecting the asset. They could have made a situation where, you know, they could have protected Corrado and they didn't have to lose him on waivers for nothing. It's tough to lose 22-year-old defensemen. I think if they could do that over again, they would. Um, but I think when you look at the overall situation and the fact that they did go with young players, they put themselves into a bit of a box that they could have gotten or handled differently, I think. Well, they do have plenty of players to pick from, including leadership. Let's talk about the Sedins. How much gas is still left in the tank for the Sedins to lead the Canucks and possibly take them to the playoffs? I don't understand why people take runs at the Sedins and say that they're they're old or they're not going to be elite players anymore. I think they've proven that they are still elite players. Maybe they can't carry you 100% like they did before, but they can certainly lead you. Uh, they're still top-level offensive players. I think when you have brains and smarts in the National Hockey League, you can survive a lot of things. Guile gets you very far. I don't understand why they get uh, under underestimated as much as they do. Well, you know, some of the changes, especially with the rules, when we look at three on three for overtime, how much of an asset do you think that rule change is uh, for the Canucks with the Sedin still on board? You know, I don't, I, again, I, I think they're smart guys. They, they find ways to get points. They find ways to get themselves open. They find ways to create opportunities. But I think when it comes to three-on-three to three overtime, that's where some of your younger, faster players like Bo Horvat maybe can make a difference. Abarchi, if he can make a difference somewhere there, he can be a huge help. That's where some of you, because you're going to, you can't put them on the ice all the time in that situation. You're going to need Need somebody else to step up to show that they can be an offensive force. And speaking of forces, what do you think about the idea of Brandon Sutter, one of the offseason trades that happened for our Canucks? How much of a force do you see him being for the boys in blue? You know, I think the biggest thing here is sometimes when people sign a big contract, fans expect them to be more than what they are. The best Korea. advice I ever heard was when Brian Campbell signed a big contract in Chicago. His GM, Dale Talon, said, look, the money's the money. You got it. Just be who you are. Don't try to be what you're not. Don't try to live up to that contract in one game. Brandon Sutter has to worry about being who he is and do what he did to earn that deal. He shouldn't try to be bigger. He shouldn't try to do other things that he didn't do before. I, I can see it right now. I worry about his situation in Vancouver because everybody's expecting him to be, to justify this contract by being more than what he was. That's not the way it can work. Be what you are and be successful at that. The money's the money. You can't control that. I think we need to send him that sound by right there to calm the nerves from getting ready when the puck drops after all said and done, Elliot. Uh, you know, we've got to get your comments on this. Losing Eddie Lack uh, was huge for not only uh, the impact yeah. on ice, uh, off ice too. He was such a great character. Jacob Markstrom stepping up as the backup to Ryan Miller. Will he allow us to forget this loss? 
I don't know if it will be that easy to forget Eddie Lack because, as you mentioned, he was such a hugely popular person in the community. Like, people like that, they leave an imprint. They never really go away. That will be difficult. But as you know, this is all performance-based. I can tell you this. There were some teams that were interested in Jacob Markstrom over the summer before the Lack trade was made. And, you know, Vancouver said, we believe in this guy. We want to hold on to him. I don't think he'll ever make you forget forget Lack's personality, that's indelible, but he will get a chance this year to show with his performance he can make you forget Lack on the ice. And will he be that good that there could possibly be another goalie dilemma with Ryan Miller between the pipes throughout the season? What do you think it, on that? In Vancouver, a goalie dilemma is a birthright. <laughs> it is guaranteed to happen. <laughs> well, we're going to see what shakes down here. Elliot Friedman, we know you're a busy man this week. Thanks so much for dialing in and chatting all things Vancouver Canucks. My pleasure. Have a great year. All right. Uh, Elliot Friedman, of course, you can check him out on Hockey Night in Canada. And uh, our Vancouver Canucks take on the Calgary Flames. Puck drops on the regular season tonight at 7. Check it out on Sportsnet and, of course, on Rogers NHL Game Center Live.